okay so I have a Python objects and I'm trying to convert them into a JSON format okay so how are we going to do that for example Python if you have text it will convert as a object so let's differentiate all of them so this is Python and this is JSON so if you have text you can convert them into a object dictionaries okay okay the other case and if I have a list it can convert into a array I mean JSON array and if you have a tuple because not only list list and tuple both of them can convert into a JSON array and string can convert into Java string type and if int float can convert into a JSON number and uh, for example if in case if we have a boolean true and false similarly it can convert into JSON true and false so if it is none in Python it it will be null in JSON okay so we can do all those operations with the help of dump so the method name called dumps so from JSON to uh, Python we are using loads method but from J uh, JSON I mean a uh, Python object to JSON we need to use dumps okay let's try okay let's comment all of them let's keep the JSON here I'm going to comment all of them okay let's start from here so we imported the JSON in the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, work with the dictionary now so dictionary will convert into a JSON object let's do that so we know how to get the terms method JSON dot terms and the input is dictionary here you we know how to define a dictionary the open and close parenthesis and key and a value pair so name John and age 30 so what we can do is we can print the data let's save it and uh, right click and run see we got name this is JSON format so you and if you're passing the data to some people are expecting as a JSON format you can use the dumps method to convert your job I mean a Python object to a JSON okay so in other case um, I have the list so we know that the Python uh, dictionary is converted into a JSON objects let's try with the list um, okay so JSON dot so previously we used dictionary here I'm going to use list it's, it's a square brackets we can provide some person names like um, John Dennis and let's print them save it and right click and run it again 
see the outcome so on and then this is a json format okay so what else we can do let's try all of them and we'll see json dot terms so we tried dictionary and we tried a list let's try some string python so python and I'm going to print this also just right click and then again just make sure okay so what basically is doing here so here dictionary converted to a JSON string and here list converted into a JSON string and here yeah JSON objects I mean a Python object string will convert into a JSON string okay let's try all uh, other data I'm going to use uh, let's try some uh, numbers 42 and some float values 42.45 and also we'll try false and what will happen if it is uh, none in JSON it's null just save and just right click and then all of them once see null false true 42.25 42 see here if you, you can see the difference here it's null but here it is none because when convert it, uh, the Python uh, object into a uh, JSON it will be considered as a JSON object I mean a JSON format like none can be taken as a null and false can be false here and if you see in in, in, in Python the false starts with the capital letter and true also starts with the capital letter but here it is small letter it is nothing but this is the JavaScript notation okay so we are clear here so we know how to use loads method we know how to use dumps method and why do we need to use dumps I'm telling you again when you're trying to convert Python sorry a uh, JSON string to a Python object you know to use loads method the other way around from Python objects to JSON you need to use the dumps method okay so I'm going to comment out all of them so we are going to try with some complicated JSON now so as I said earlier I have some sample JSON here which contains a person information so I'm going to keep it here okay so this is my JSON um, what I can do is I can keep the JSON data is in a variable person okay so in person it's a Python object see there is no single course here so it's a python object so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to convert this into a by a, a json json dot terms and I'm passing the person so what is happening why json is okay done just right click and run this once see you, you can see all the informations here but if you see it's all it's it, it's a string okay but still the readability is not good okay so Python will providing us with some other additional operations also you can modify the response and you can use some intent so whenever the JSON uh, string is printed or the JSON um, data is it's formatting somewhere or we are sending it somewhere we can format and we can send, send it to them okay so like we can intend some spaces or we can uh, we can simply sort them and then send the response back to the client so what I'm going to do is uh, the outcome is not looks good for me so I'm going to format it I'm so each and every element I'm I'm, I'm trying to put some internet space so what I'm going to do is 
uh, I'm going to because that dumps method will take three parameters the first one person and second one you can use it for intent and third one we'll see later so intent so we can give three or yeah let's give it four so save and clear the console now run this and we'll see the outcome see now it looks better right much better right so here for internet space and it will printing all the JSON data so this looks far better okay there will be another scenario I um, I want to uh, sort the values in my outcome I want to sort the data and then send back to the client so what you can do is um, as I said earlier it, it will uh, the dumps method locks up the third parameter which is nothing but there's something called sort keys is equal to true by default it's false so let's give it true or else what we can do is just that's how okay. so the first one is without sort and third one the second one is with sort so let me clear this console again and save it and right click and then python file again python. Just right click and run okay let's see the first one this is the first response without sorting the internet space out there the second one is uh, it's a bit hard to see right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, line uh, differentiate here so put some brick over here and save it and right click and run it okay let's see the first one is without sorting the second one is with sorting see the previously the first name is the first key and value here age and children and the first name hobbies so everything comes in an order it is sorting based on the keys not based on the values okay so other scenario uh, in case I don't want to use the separators colon and I don't want to use the commas here I want to use something else so what you can do is there is a possibility so let's put another break here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same thing here so instead of sort keys I'm going to use something else mm, I think separator yeah you can use separators and separators it will accept two parameters so which one the first one is the separator dot and what you need to replace let's run this and see the outcome clear this it won't be clear okay so let me run come on save it and right click and run so let's go to the last one if you see this have you seen this separator the colon becomes the equal and the endpoint comma is replaced with the dot so ultimately the first para parameter which you are giving as an input for the separator method it will replace the end of the line that means end of the the first element and the second parameter which is nothing but the colon the default colon the separator between the key and the value okay so the final dot is separator between two elements and the colon is separator between the key and value so the first one will replace the comma and the second one is replace the colon you can give it whatever you want for example you can give some symbols also so I'm going to use at here and I'm using some uh, different kind of 
so to see that see let's let's run this just go down see the separator replaced with the mod symbol and the end separator with replaced with the add symbol okay so there are a lot of different ways or different types of data which is available in the JSON. The only thing which we need to do is try some different combination of data. Go to internet and search some of and get some sample JSON files and try it out here. Use dumps method and use loads method and how we are converting the data and try to do all the operations. So once you have the hands on experience, so we can we can we can work on the in-depth concepts on the JSON because the whatever so far we covered even though if it's advanced concept it's it's a, it's it's an intermediate level only there are lots to learn okay uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter okay let's meet me uh, let's meet each other in the next video thank you